Today, just three weeks after police released footage of a violent and deadly arrest, five former police officers pleaded not guilty to murder. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Yolanda Harris. New this afternoon, we're getting reaction from the family who was in the courtroom. Here's CBS correspondent Bradley Blackburn. I'm waiting for somebody to wake me up. The family of Tyree Nichols addressed the media moments after the five former Memphis police officers accused of killing him made their first court appearance. We have to start this process of justice right now. And I want each and every one of those police officers to be able to look me in the face. The officers looked straight ahead as they pleaded not guilty to second degree murder and other charges. At this time, we waive the formal reason of the indictment off of the court, a plea of not guilty. The 29 year old died in a hospital just three days after being pulled over and brutally beaten by the black officers in an incident caught on camera. When you look at the video, there was no dignity there. Nichols is the latest police involved death to spark nationwide outrage and protests. The Nichols family and their attorneys have also raised questions about police culture and training. Who Tyree was, was what you saw in that video. While everybody else was escalating it, using excessive force, Tyree was de-escalating, trying to do everything in his power to remain calm. An attorney for one of the officers charged previewed his defense. This is a country where black people are incarcerated at five times the rate of white people. A country where black people are 7.5 times more likely to be wrongfully convicted of murder than white people. The five officers involved in Nichols' death are all out on bond and are due back in court in May. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.